Okay, so it is Wednesday, and it's time for a comic book pickup thing. Anyways, uh, first three things I got here, I've already done reviews for. They went up yesterday. Um, if you want to check them out, because in case you missed them or something, uh, I'll have a link to those videos in the description. Yeah, so, side note, all issue number ones will now be reviewed on Wednesday. Just because I figured it's easier in case anyone wants to see a review on Wednesday and you know to get the comic books Thursday or Friday for whatever reason you guys can be like oh it looks good okay I'll get it or no that doesn't sound like what I'm into I'm not gonna get it you know just whatever um so first off Avengers Undercover issue one I've been waiting forever for this to come out uh since Avengers Arena ended and it did not disappoint like I said Reviews already been done, so if you want to go check that out, link in the description. Same thing with Captain Marvel number one, which I want this cover as a poster. Just saying. And lastly, The Returning, which I'm not even going to say watch my review. I'm just going to say get it. But if you want to know why, watch the review. But get it. It's only four parts anyway. Um, first up, Batgirl issue 29. More of this vampire crazy guy, and I don't even know what to say about it because Batgirl and that talent, I always forget her name, you know, I've only read a few issues with her in it, so I, I don't remember, but, uh, they fight the vampire dude, who, or not, he's not even a vampire, he just thinks everybody's a vampire, and it was weird, the ending of the issue was weird, the whole thing was weird. That's the best way to describe it. I it, it wasn't bad, but it wasn't good or great or anything. It was average and it just and it the ending was all right. The ending surprised me. Okay, that that's the best thing about this issue was the ending. Otherwise, I don't like how Barbara was acting throughout the issue. She kept calling the weird vampire hunter guy hot and his assistant hot and I was just like it's it's weird. That's my, how I'm going to classify that issue. Um all new X Factor. Uh, if you remember last issue, uh, one of the th people from the Thieves Guild from Gambit's Thieves Guild, I guess he's the king of them, uh, had apparently taken over Danger, who knows when, and was using her to hack Ser Servo. I can't even pronounce that. The industry thing was using it to hack that, and uh, yeah. They, they go there, and she's angry, she doesn't have her memory, and it's just a big, giant... The whole issue is really just everybody fighting danger, and Gambit trying to convince her that they know her, and that she's, you know, good. So, it wasn't bad at all. It was good. I liked it, and I still think it's funny that they have that sponsored thing by the company that they work for. I'm wondering how long that's going to last, but, yeah, still really liking this X-Factor series. That's best I can say about that. All new X-Men issue 24, Trial of Jean Grey part 5 of 6. So it ends I guess uh, in the next Guardians of the Galaxy issue and then issue 25 is going to be more money I'm assuming because it's the 25th issue and it's an anniversary issue and I don't get how 25 issues is an anniversary. I mean I kind of get how you can say 25 issues is an anniversary but at the same time are they trying to say X-Men anniversary or I don't get it, um, but that's that's what we're going to be doing next issue. But this one, uh, the trial gets started, Gladiator, I forgot the other guy's name, uh, Star-Lord's dad kind of gets involved and has an argument with Gladiator about the trial, and everybody else makes a break for the planet. Um, vague description, but action, the ending was a little bit more surprising, uh, not as surprising as the Batgirl ending, but still... It's all new X-Men. I really still really love this series. Probably one of my favorite, if not my favorite, X-Men title at the moment. And, uh, yeah, I can't wait for the trial of Jean Grey to be over. Just because, uh, apparently issue 27 of all new X-Men, the Brotherhood of Evil Mutants from Battle of the Atom is returning. And I can't wait for that. But, anyways, Fantastic Four, issue number two. Part two of the fall of Fantastic Four. And it starts off with an explosion at the Baxter building. All these monsters that we saw at the end of the first issue have escaped the city and they're attacking. And it's up to the Fantastic Four basically to take them out even though the Avengers and everybody else is like already out there trying to like stop them. It's uh, you know, 
it's their series, obviously they're going to be the ones to try and take it out. But the ending of it, again, another kind of surprising ending that I didn't see coming. The whole issue was mostly action, which was really good. And uh, yeah, really am liking this new Fantastic Four series. Not liking the price, but what are you going to do about it, right? Well, complain, I guess. But yeah. Uh, so these last three, I want to say all three of them were equally amazing. Um... Trying to say which one was my favorite out of the three was really hard, and which was my least favorite of the three was really hard. So that's why I put Spider-Man, the Spirit Spider-Man, as I guess my third least most favorite one of this week. Uh, Goblin goes crazy, and you know, again, the Avengers are out trying to stop his army, but they're not enough of them. Spider-Man, uh, Jameson wants Spider-Man taken out. Uh, Green Goblin is going after people that he thinks Otto Octavius uh, cares about and uh, it is a really good issue really really good issue that's that's all I got to say about it can't wait for the next one uh, next week we're actually getting annual number one I believe which is a tie-in or maybe it's annual number two I'm not sure but it's a tie-in, but it's not going to continue from here, from what I can tell. I think it's a Hobgoblin story. But still, really, really, really good issue. If you're not reading Superior Spider-Man, it's coming to an end. I mean, pick it up. But I guess you could just wait and just get everything in trade. Because uh, volume number two of that in hardcover is coming out soon, which is awesome. Because I was really upset when I they all came out in paperbacks. And then they did the volume one. I was like, please do the volume two. They're doing it, so I'm assuming there's going to be a Volume 3, and that'll be awesome. Anyways, next up, Batman Issue 29, another part of Zero Year. And it took me a little bit to remember what was going on, especially since last month we had the first look into Batman Eternal, which was good, but I wanted Zero Year to continue. Um, but yeah, this issue, the cover, the covers are always just so getting weirder now, but... Uh, this one actually makes sense because the last issue, remember, Batman kind of was in an explosion. Well, he gets out of that. He knows where to try and stop uh, Riddler's or Enigma, I guess. Is he called Riddler yet? I don't think they called him Riddler yet. But uh, Enigma, Enigma's uh, where, where he has his like thing going on. He finds out where he's doing all his stuff and he's going after it. He sends Gordon to Wayne Tower to try and stop him and they're trying to keep uh, the GCPD from turning on the power and uh, every little while we get a flashback to the night that uh, Bruce was arrested the same night that his parents are killed we get like a moment with him and his mom which was nice and then the ending a uh, few pages were awesome uh, it's Batman serial year it was freaking amazing and it would have been number one if not for the ending of Superman Wonder Woman which, oh my god, I can't talk about it because it's a spoiler, but oh my god, it was freaking amazing. And I just, one of my favorite series from DC right now is Superman Wonder Woman. And it beat out Batman, in my opinion. Just with that ending, I mean, the whole issue was good. Uh, Superman and Wonder Woman get this, uh, like, this weapon from, uh, I always forget his name, the, the god guy, you know, who makes weapons. Uh, one of Wonder Woman's uh, brothers. And they go face to face with Zod and I can't pronounce her name, Fiora, I think, something like that. You know, they go head to head and they're trying to stop Zod from opening a portal to the Phantom Zone. A uh, really awesome fight. And just the way it goes from the beginning, like once it reaches the middle, everything uh, I saw coming anyway, anything that I would have like been able to predict went out the window and I was like this is not like how I thought it was going to end and then it kept going and going and then that last page amazing so amazing series amazing ending highly recommended anyways that's my pickup for this week uh, like I said these three are all equally amazing just slightly better but yeah if you like the video don't forget to hit the like button uh, if you have any comments go ahead leave one you know that's cool and subscribe for more stuff and don't forget the issue one reviews links in the description i will see you next time and stuff and yeah all right then goodbye